Is this a new book, or how long has it been out? Uh, oh, it's been out months? a couple of months now. A um, large number of authors in uh, uh, from basically large engineering teams, people uh -huh. that in the in the you know field services and stuff. And really, the book is a, it's really targeted to administrators mm -hmm. and um, talks about many of the things we've just kind of been talking about: mm -hmm. zones, trusted extensions. You know, authentication, authorization. Does it? What is the scope of it? Does it give you the general idea of what's available to you? Or does it actually go into actually details? Actually, goes into worked examples. Uh -huh. Shows you how to use some of the individual tools. Okay. Um, talks about the risks. Of, you know, why you would want to use that tool. Um, and it's very much focused on the tools that are core to Solaris. And do you have in there some strategies for sysadmins to, who are new to Solaris or maybe coming from Linux to uh, take a look at? Uh, how how they might get started with this? Um, yeah, well, I mean, if you have, we have a quick scan down some of the you know the contents, you know, we got some background stuff in here to start mm -hmm. with. We talk about hardening Solaris, and by hardening we mean you know securing the network services, mm -hmm. um, everything from you know things that somebody maybe coming from Linux on X thirty six might mm -hmm. not know if they go to a Spark system. You know, the open boot prompts different to BIOS. How how would you deal yeah. with that differently? Um, you know, things like that. Um, then moving on to you know things that are very different as far as things like ZFS. Mm -hmm. um, there are uh, delegation systems inside ZFS, so you can delegate the ability to do stuff to certain parts of the ZFS file system. Yeah. Um, and you, know, and a lot of this would be familiar to anybody coming from other Unix systems, mm -hmm. and some of it would be very Solaris specific. Um, we also talk about some of the um, in great detail about the. The Solaris RBAC system, which is okay. unique to Solaris in its implementation, but mm -hmm. similar concepts exist elsewhere. Um, Are there any things other than the uh, any things that a Linux uh, someone who likes uh, Oracle and, um, Oracle Enterprise Linux could actually borrow from here? Uh, and yeah, techniques very, very they much. Might so be able it, to use? you know, even if you're using you know Oracle Enterprise Linux or any other you know, Unix-like system, you know the chapters on. Um, you know, authentication with PAM as a developer, the uh, view of it and the administrator's view will be very similar. Very similar. Because um, okay. by and large, that is the same. But mostly, we've you know in the book, it's talking about the Solaris security uh, features that are quite specific to Solaris, and we go down to the details of exactly how to configure them. Oh, for example, the auditing system on Solaris is very different mm -hmm. um, and has been around for a very long time, very feature rich, um, and you know there was some good additional extensions to that in Solaris 10 as well. Yeah. It's not something that stays static. So by and large, this is quite Solaris specific um, in terms of the worked examples. But some of the concepts, the concepts apply, to other, apply to other systems as well. Yeah. So the concepts in this, um, they're future proof. You know, these are mm -hmm. things that are core pieces of Solaris technology. Some mm -hmm. of them date back many, many years. They're, the foundations are still there. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be additional new functionality. Um, you know, there's stuff that we're looking at and doing in audit. Uh, people following the Open Solaris will have already seen that in the mm -hmm. area of audit, um, we made quite a significant change in Open Solaris recently, so that you didn't have to reboot the system to enable audit time. Mm -hmm. um, we could do that without having to require a reboot. Um, so these are foundations that are are going to totally work you well, not just for Solaris time, but as we move forward yeah. into Solaris Alone. Express. Are you planning an update for Solaris? Alone? Um, we are definitely planning yeah. an update. Okay. We, we already been to discussing you know what some of the material is. Great. So um, yeah. I suspect we'll probably wait until after Sol uh, Solaris 11 GA, whenever that's going right, to be, right. before, and um, uh, we maybe even wait a little bit longer to see what the kind of feedback is from the customers and stuff, and how well things go. And um, 